Are you ready for the greatest transitions for Premiere Pro? Well, we just created one, if not the most customizable and largest transitions pack for Premiere Pro. Introducing over 1500 instant import transitions with our Motion Duck extension. If you want to give your edits everything you have, I promise you that our transitions pack will elevate any project you are working on. Plus, you're going to save a bunch of time with these transitions. Let me show you how they work and you can check out the pack anytime with the links in the description below. Here's our transitions in Premiere Pro and to show you how fast and easy it is to use the transitions, here's a quick snapshot. You can hover over any of the transitions to preview it and then you can double click it and apply it to your edit. Then click the top layer of the transition to go to essential graphics. Click on edit and drag and drop the sequence of the transition to replace media. Now your transition will play on top of your footage and that looks great. Let's dive a little bit deeper in the transitions as we have a lot of great features here. There are 11 main categories of transitions, all of which you can preview by hovering over the images. And you can choose from categories like seamless, glitch, shapes, 3D, ink, and the list goes on. But when you're ready to apply a transition to your edit, make sure the playhead is at the cut of two clips and then just double click the transition to apply it. And as a quick note, these transitions will easily apply on any resolution up to 4K. As before, go to the essential graphics panel and replace media with your sequence that was imported into your project panel. Now we have a second transition ready to go. However, the real power of our transitions pack comes in the sheer amount of customization available to you. For example, if you're not happy with the current transition, you can change the direction and even the type. And now you'll have a completely different transition. But the customization doesn't even begin there. You have the ability to turn on and off several effects. For example, I can turn on RGB and now we have a glitch style effect applied to our transition. We also have a few other effects for you to choose from on most of the transitions in this pack. And you can also adjust the motion blur. One of my favorite features is the ability to add a target to your transition. Just set the direction of the transition to target. And you'll see that our transition now has this cool line animation applied to it. By opening the target settings, I can reposition the center of our target. And of course I can change the color and pretty much anything else that I want. So now you can highlight what's important in your shot during the transition. Up to this point, we've only applied two transitions, but I'll quickly go ahead and apply transitions to the rest of my edit to showcase the depth of transitions available to you. So now we have a beautiful edit filled with transitions. And if you haven't noticed yet, just about every transition comes with a sound effect that is automatically imported. This will help you boost engagement on your videos without effort. However, you can easily remove the sound effects if you want. Since I mentioned earlier that these transitions will work on any sequence resolution up to 4K, and just to showcase that in action, I have a quick edit here that has a 2 to 35 1 aspect ratio with our transitions applied. And because vertical video edits are becoming more popular, here's a quick demo showing those transitions with a 9 by 16 edit. Be sure to check out the pack with the links in the description below. This will be the only set of transitions you'll ever need for Premiere Pro as, once again, they there's over 1,500 transitions to choose from and 11 categories. This pack is also included inside of our Motion Duck subscription, so if you are a subscriber, you will have access to this pack and every other pack that we have. So if you have any questions, drop a comment below and always be creating.